Hi everyone, today's hike is going to take us through Breakheart Reservation and uh, we're in uh, Wheatfield right now with the pups, so let's take a hike, shall we? Well, the average user leave no trace ethics, <laughs> maybe leave something to be desired from what I've seen so far. Well, let's continue on. Seriously? So far I'm liking the signage, uh, pretty clear, everything marked out, trails are easy to follow. Looks like uh, we might have a little bit of a viewpoint up here, so let's take a look. Hey, so right here we got an interesting little artifact, uh, I would say maybe from some old railroad line that may have been in the area in the past, but little disappointment right here as you can see some broken glass more over here so as I would say the ethics of the average user are probably not so great here uh, but we do have a nice overlook here kind of a neat little view and why don't we continue over here guys Come on. Okay, so we're up at another little vantage point here. I don't know what our elevation is above sea level. Probably not more than, a, you know, three or 400 feet. But if we look toward the south, way in the distance, you can see the Boston skyline. So uh, I believe that's probably from here, maybe 10 miles. So you do have a little bit of a view here. And another great view there, and another great view there. Don't drink that water, buddy. Again, uh, I'm seeing, you know, traces of uh, parties up here and trash remains of campfires and stuff. So uh, obviously a hangout for for the um, drink out in nature set. But we're not going to let that discourage us. We'll just continue on here. Have a look over here, guys. See what we can see from this spot. Go ahead. Come on. Add a go. And there's the Boston skyline again. See how much closer it looks? We must have gone about 200 feet closer. Wow. And it looks like the path is over here, so let's keep going, guys. Well, that looks like it'd be a little, a little bit of a fun rock scramble there, but I'm not going to do that with the pups, so I guess we'll uh, find the path again and follow that. You ready guys? Alright, so we've just come uh, to the bottom of that last hill we're on. As you can see, we are on a paved road. So I'm going to say that this is, um, that this is a wheelchair accessible park, which is a uh, Kind of neat, gives everybody the opportunity to enjoy the outdoors. And if you look way behind me, you might see uh, a lake down there. So the pups and I are going to go explore that. So let's go. OK, 
Okay, and in front, I can see uh, one of the park rangers' uh, vehicles, so it does look like the air is patrolled pretty well, so kudos to them for that. Okay, so you can see in front of us, Silver Lake, very pretty, very peaceful. And we're going to take a walk around and uh, see if the trail goes all the way around. Okay, so, come on guys, let's go. And you do have some trail markings here. Not that they're really needed, but, uh, you know, it's nice to see anyway. Another nice little vantage point here. Be nice to take a little canoe out to that island there and spend the night there. But not allowed here. The uh, park does close um, at dusk, so we're going to have to continue on our journey here. Okay, guys, let's keep going. Good stuff. Up you go. Oh, this crew looks kind of neat over here. Yeah. Okay, so to bring your attention to a little phenomenon here, dogs when traveling in pairs will always go on either side of a tree. Now I was never one to believe in conspiracy theories or anything crazy like that, but I swear to God these guys are conspiring with each other to do just that. Well, let's see what's up here anyway. As you can see, we're up a little bit above the uh, the lake here, another nice little viewpoint. We came around that way. What do you think? You want to keep going? How about you? You just want to scratch, huh? Okay, you ready? Let's go, guys. Okay, you see what I mean about the trees? Come on, guys. Jeez, really? And look at the smile on his face. Tell me they didn't plan that. Okay, so it looks like we came to the end of today's hike. That was a hike around Silver Lake at Breakhawk Reservation. I'm going to uh, give a final analysis and uh, Steve's rating of this park once I get home. But for now, I think the big guy's getting tired and the little girl, well, she never gets tired. She gets into too much caffeine, I think. So we're going to head back to the car. And, um, and as I said, I'll continue on when we get home.